openings. Hey everybody, it's me again. This time, another opening. Super Nintendo. Controller. Original power supply. AV cable. Which I have the S-Video cable for this, which is excellent. And I have an upscaler, which we're going to use. And then I got the original Super Nintendo that has not been discolored over time. At least it doesn't look like it is. Maybe it might be on the on the camera. You might see a little bit of it. But that might be just the way that it actually looks. Man, I can't wait to open this up and see it. Love Super Nintendo. Uh, Super Mario World. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. And Mortal Kombat, the first one. Awesome! gonna start opening them up oh um while I wasn't paying attention my cat actually got into this and started chewing on the bubble wrap evidently she's a, a bubble wrap kind of cat <laughs> oh man because I, I was busy down the basement um, I had to use my wet dry vac or the, uh, the, the shampooer again because we're having such uh, really really gnarly storms coming through and they're just, just brutal weather that we're having. And yeah, my basement's getting really, really soaked. And that's what I've been spending a lot of my, my mornings when I get up doing is cleaning that basement and all that water up. Squeegeeing the back room. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fun one. But earlier this morning, when I was just waking up, I didn't sleep very well last night, you know, thunderstorm. I, uh, I, well, while I was opening my curtains, here, just give me one second here. AMSR. <laughs> love it. I love it. That's the stuff that, that relaxes me out just as much as anybody else. I love that AMSR stuff. Just relax, man. Just relax. Just relax. Listen to the sound of my voice. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I'm not poking fun. I'm being serious when I'm talking about AMSR. Because, I trust me, I, I get it. I'm right along with that. I, I suffer from PTSD, just like any other veteran out there. And these are there's there's certain coping mechanisms that we have to go by, and uh, yeah, that's that's one of them. It's just the woo moment, you know. Relax the mind, body, and soul. So yeah, that's a nice looking court. Seriously, I mean, is this aftermarket? It, it might be, but I'm just checking to see the the, the pin set inside of it. You know, like there might be others in it. So yeah, that's a nice AV cord. Uh, I'm gonna power supply this time. She got into this thing too. She literally pulled this huge, I mean, this thing's heavy, right? She, the, the cat, my cat, Mibu, she pulled this completely off of the workbench onto the floor while I was downstairs working on the basement, cleaning it all up. What a pest, what a bred cat. Oh, that, and, I, and it was just, it was so incredibly hot today, so hot and humid. I, I did not have the heart to have my cat either in her kennel while I was busy doing that or in the in her den, which is the back bedroom. And you all seen the back bathroom, right? I mean, I have a video up. It's the uh, Cinderella set, the vintage, Cinder the vintage Cinderella set, bathtub, toilet, sink set. And that's, that's her den. That's where I, I, I have her. And I don't even use that bathroom very often myself. It's it's hers. You know, and if I did, shh, man, if I clean in there, she will let me know about it. I mean, she will let me know about it. All right, now this is an original Super Nintendo power supply. I I, I am not concerned with this because it had the actual, you know, that plug on the end. I, I saw this. Now I'm just curious as to the quality of the cord and the age of it is just awesome too. Like, you know, it's definitely going to still 
this is excellent. Like, no phrase. Man, that... The sellers that I am buying and purchasing from are amazing people. They really are. From my favorite buy site. Um, yeah, this is, this, this is the second item that I purchased through them. Brother and sister, you know, the veteran. And, oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Can't leave that alone. Absolutely love bubble wrap. But yeah, the veteran brother and sister, uh, you know, small, you know, having having to, and very happy to support small businesses. It, it's it's a must. We have to do it. So there we go. You, I love that UL listed. Yeah, you know, it, it good for insurance purposes. Got to have that UL listed on your power supplies. And yeah, no, uh, no where, no breaks along here. I don't have to trim it up. I won't have to go into it and trim it anywhere either. Awesome. So now we got an epic power supply there. Controller. I'm just going to use my uh, wireless ones, my 8 though. but this is nice to have the original controller just to say that I have the original controller, just to have it as part of the uh, collection. And it will look nice up in the cupboard too, because I have a lot of my uh, stuff all up in the cupboards behind glass, keeping dust off of it. Because I used to have it all out in the open. I'm like, um, maybe I should get rid of the glasses since I don't drink much anymore, alcohol or adult, you know, adult beverages. I, I just I, I don't need to or don't feel like it. Wow, oh, look at that controller. Has this ever been played with? I mean. Oh yeah, see that the concave buttons, and then the uh, the what's the opposite word of concaved? <laughs> Protruding, <laughs> beveled. You know, it, it's. It, well, yeah, you just, you just want that bubble wrap too, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> it's an oblate spherical. <laughs> Oblate. Sorry, that's an oblate spherical. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just, just, just joshing everybody playing around. Oh man, yeah. This has this ever been used? It doesn't even feel like it's been used. I, it's felt like you know this. You know, you can tell it's sat on a shelf somewhere for a little while, but this is not. I mean, this has not been gamed on for very much. And believe me, I. I, I know, a, you know, I would say a, a controller slop like this right here, you, you can feel it in there when it's just not right anymore. You can feel these stick a little bit, and these are not sticky buttons whatsoever. Man, what a, what a great quality product. Especially, you know, for Super Nintendo and with the age it is. Uh, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the console for last, you know, not to uh, deprive anybody. You know, you do timestamps for me if you want to in the description link. That'd be greatly appreciated or comment section sorry I'm I'm, I'm not going to do that you guys can do it for me if you want okay yeah wonderful wonderful packaging I mean the way it came was expertly shipped for real like I was stoked when I saw it. I was like, oh, yes. I, I can guarantee you, as soon as I opened it up, I was like, ah, no worries. No worries whatsoever. I knew that it was going to turn, you know, it was going to show perfect, like no cracks or anything like that. And the box was not damaged. Plus, plus the, uh, the, my post lady is absolutely incredible. She really, really loves her job. I could just tell. You know, it's just sometimes people just, you can tell when they love their job. She loves her job. I can just see it. Seeing her face, she's always really, really smiling. And I'm usually the last person on her route, too, for um, for post. So, yeah, it was cool. Super Mario World. Man, this is going to be a good one to open up here. I'm going to see if I can do the battery repair on this one. Because I'm not going to mess with the other one. My other one works fine. Maybe this one might be a little bit different. We'll see. Right? Right? Yeah. Super Mario World. Super Donkey Kong Country. Now let's see what Donkey Kong Country this one is. 
Now, I'm not uh, sure on the collectability side of things on these as much as I am uh, versed on the other ones for the, the original Nintendo. I Because I do a little bit of research here and there, uh, at least on the original Nintendo. Super Nintendo, I haven't... Um, I haven't been too much into the, uh, the, the the console collection yet because I have not had one. You know, like, like I was saying for the control deck, I um, I was waiting for a very, very long time. I, I was waiting until I was 40 years old, and the last time I had one was when I was a teenager. So it's like... When I went out into the service, every single thing that I owned that was Nintendo and Super, and, 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 you know, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, were gone. They were, they were just sold off, and they no longer existed. When I came back, one well, thing I, I kept, I kept my Sega Dreamcast. That didn't get, that did not disappear, and GameCube did not disappear. My N64 didn't disappear because I had that with me while I was on the service on show because I used that Conker's Bed Verde every day almost. Every time that I had free time, I played Conker's Bed Verde. It was fun. All right, so let's not digress too much. Let's talk about Donkey Kong Country. Now, I played this one a lot. When I was a kid, I, I know I played this one. I really like the uh, impressive graphics, but I could not get very far. There's something about... Um, about the jumping and then damage that I would take every time I would uh, I'd play this game. Uh, I would get to like maybe the, the third, maybe fourth stage. Uh, that's, a, that's about it. I'm gonna clean those contact pads. Ooh, take it all apart. Take a look at this one. I'm sure this one's got a battery pack in it too. Does it not for saves? I don't know if this one saves or not. We'll see. You know, like a RPG save type deal. We'll find out. And then, of course, the original Mortal Kombat. No, I believe this is the one that has the code for blood. I I don't know. I'd have to take a look. I do have the game, you know, the game enhancer for this console, so these things will not be an issue. I will be shortly looking for the Game Boy um, player. You know, not to digress too much from this particular cart, because I don't, you know, I don't want to overlap anything make a claim not feel very um, welcome on the channel and for all you new new watchers and new subscribers welcome to spider my gavin porch channel i know just gotta say it again if i didn't say it already before thank you for watching it's greatly appreciated now that looks good i know there's a little bit of dirt here and there but nah, who cares about that that's that's just bleh. It's a nice looking card. I mean, no stickers on it, nothing like that. I don't have to do any major, major amount of work on it. And for the age, ooh, that's pretty awesome, man. I, I, everybody, I love Mortal Kombat. But, now here's something that you have to think about. I made the comment before, and I'm going to make it again. Ninja Gaiden, or Ninja Gaiden, that people are calling it. What do you call the main character, or one of the characters in this game... With the lightning bolts, how do you pronounce his name? Raiden, right? Raiden? Gaiden? I mean, do you not see the the equivalency to it? Just saying. I, before, I had problems with, like, uh, Fazanadu, too, or Faxanadu. There's this certain pronunciations or enunciations, subtle nuances of how to say names, of games and cartridges. I mean, it's, there's so many things out there that you know. It's 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 really a good idea to um, figure out that particular nomenclature. Just gotta know it. Do your research. And I was procrastinating. Oh, <laughs> love. If I could put sound effects in on my videos, you know I would. I would definitely use Worms Armageddon. You know, the, the, the holy hand grenade moment, you know, right before they launch it off. I would have that right here. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I, you, you, I'm sure if anybody's ever played Worms Armageddon, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now let's see. How is this one all packaged? Up? Is it... uh, 
this is going to be one sick looking console. Sorry for the bump. I knew it as soon as I got my arm close to it, I was going to bump it. Oh man. And sorry for the loudness of all this. It's, it's, you know, please adjust your, uh, your audio device accordingly. I'm glad that I'm not using a pair of, of uh, or a knife. This is the way to do it, is by using a pair of really, really sharp shears or scissors. One second, I gotta take it off camera. All right, there we go. And then here's the reveal of it. Oh, try and get the come, come on, man. Now that is one sleek and sharp looking Super Nintendo. It is not discolored. This is this reminds me of the one that I had when I was a kid. You know, like the one I had when I was a kid, it, it looked just like this. Of course, it, you know, the difference between this color and this color, yes. This color right here was different than this, but I believe that my um, my border right here was a little bit dark versus the rest of it. You know, like that kind of thing. I, I maybe it was the model. May oh no, wait, it is the camera. Oh yeah, the camera's picking it up just right. I love that. Got some cleaning to do. You see that? Woo! Whatever that is. <laughs> Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, come on. You guys remember my top loader for the normal Nintendo? Come on, you know, see that thing? It's all rusty and crusty. This thing looks immaculate versus that. All right, let's see what the back plugs look like on her. Any rust along that? No, there isn't. Wow. That is an awesome looking console. All right, um, let's see here now. So, yeah, let's, let's let's turn around, go ahead and check it out with the S video, and then I'll check it out without the S video activated. I'll just flip through it and have you guys take a look at what it looks like when it's upscale and when it's not. So, see you guys in a I'm back. There we go, right there, the Super Nintendo. And we're going to play a game of Final Fantasy II on it. Alright, now, I have it on with a, a upscaler. We're using, right there, S video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change it from S-Video to regular AB. So you can see a little bit of a difference. But I prefer it on S-Video. And my television has a specific setting on it that allows you to go from wide setting to zoom, stretch, normal. In normal you'll see a bunch of artifacts along the sides and these actually dither and move with the actual screen so it's actually some sort of um leftover garbage something like that but if you set it to wide on my screen it, it, it straightens that up and fixes that and corrects that issue all right we're gonna go to 480i ADP. Seven twenty P. That should be seven twenty P. Yep. And then uh, ten eighty I. And then ten eighty P, which I'll play it at is ten eighty P. Oh, I had to wait for a little bit before I could even do this review. My my house got so hot, my uh, my portable air conditioner got um, swamped, so it turned into a swamp cooler.
These are my original characters from the uh, short story that I created. That's why they're named that way. So let's go ahead and play. I could call them, you know, like YouTube and other things, but... Take a look at that code video that I have up, the PAR codes for the uh, ZSNES. They work really, really well. And there's a really nice little code on there, a cheat code, that allows you to uh, allow your characters to move faster while they're walking. And to well, tell you the truth, I prefer, I, I actually prefer playing the game that way with my character moving a little faster than what it does normally. It's just me. I could use the game enhancer on this, but I just, uh, you know, I decided not to. And I have my surround sound right now with uh, Spadiff out. That's why it's a little louder. guarantee that I'm going to beat it. I just really love this game. Turn it down just a little bit so people can hear what I'm saying. Uh, in my previous video, I actually was talking about something that happened today. It was really, really cool that when I woke up, I opened up my blinds, and as soon as I opened my blinds, I had a friend pulling up with her bike into my yard, and I, I wasn't even expecting to have anybody over, and and she just showed up and I was like, and then she brought me a whole bunch of bakery goods from the same place that I, I spoke of before our uh, veterans daughters loaves of bread oh man 
Those loaves of bread are amazing. They're absolutely incredible. I was like, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> so the yeah, I, I mean, I sorry, I digressed in the video uh, before when I was making a review of the actual Super Nintendo because, wow, yeah, I was, I was so impressed with how nice it, it the system and console looks. Yeah, it's very clean. I will have to take it apart and and, and do some minor maintenance, like very minor maintenance to it. Other than that, awesome. But yeah, having um, having a friend over and then just visiting for a while before I actually went down and cleaned my bathroom. Or sorry, clean my <laughs> clean my basement. <laughs> well, I had to do that too. I had to clean the bathroom too because got that, that got wet just as much as anything else did down there. So yeah. I was able to play a game of uh, Overwatch. I gotta tell you, this uh, SNES controller that I am using, this cordless one, now, you gotta give me one second. Mibu is being a pest right now. You are a pest. Why don't you say hi to everybody? There she is. There's Mibu. Yeah, you are a pest. Why is that alone? Over here chewing on something. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love having um, having pets, you know, fur babies. Love having her. She she's great company to have. The reason why I'm running is that I really don't feel like attacking and fighting all these guys, these enemies in here. Especially in here when you have the mines. I think Breath and Mind, they're just, oh, brutal. I don't even know if I can even escape from them. They're close to bosses themselves. Even when they um, perish in battle, they crumble apart like a boss.
So yeah, this is going to give me a reason to uh, start cleaning those Super Nintendo games and taking the batteries out of them and and uh, replacing them with battery holders and resoldering the board and yeah, it's more projects to do. So it's going to be um, more of a, I would say, very similar materials but different things. So it's not the same old, same old all the time. I'm not working on just Nintendo games. I'll be working on Super Nintendo. Then I'll work on N64. I have a couple Game Boy games that I would like to be able to change the batteries out on those as well. So I'm, I'm working on it. It's just, you know, step-by-step -step process, day by day. And some days I can get two games done at once. And other games, you know, I mean, other days just... Like yesterday, I had such a brutal migraine that I thought for sure I was going to have a seizure from it. That's how bad my migraine was, and it was an all-day migraine. It was from when I woke up until I went to sleep. I even had um, I had Miwu, my you know the kitty. She uh, she was really close to me, like like right on my side the entire time, or right by my side, watching me like a hawk, making sure that I was okay. That's you know how bad it was for me yesterday. Today, today, man, it's just like, woo, everything's, you know, working properly, I'm not twitching, I'm not having issues, I don't have that head pain, so, yeah, that's why I'm able to get this particular review done, otherwise, yeah, I, I, I would probably be just watching movies quietly, you know, turning the volume down so that you know, I can barely hear it. Yeah, because everything just heightens when you have a migraine. Oh, yeah, you know, like all of your, uh, I would say, six senses, or what well, you only have five, five or six. The reason why I say five senses is because of your, my sight diminishes, it doesn't actually heighten, so it's like, you know, my tactile feeling, you know, anything thing that I touch feels much more abrasive than it rightfully should, um, my hearing is enhanced, my taste is, my sense of smell is it's extraordinarily enhanced, it's just, it's, it's terrible because I can, anything that smells foul, I can, I know where it is, like, I, I was like, I could pinpoint where it's at and where it's coming from. You think that's a blessing? I think, no, no, no. It, it makes you gag. You know, like... Not very comfortable feeling. Oh, uh, prior to playing this, I, I really had to clean it. I literally had to clean my cartridge. It, it was really, really gross. Had a lot of uh, like dirt and grime on those contact pads. And I was like, okay. So this will be definitely a game where I'm going to have to take it apart and clean it. Again, the names for these players and characters are from my short story, Shakudina Pelodi.
here in the near future, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a couple of videos using the hex editor on some DOS games. So keep your eyes peeled for those if that's something of interest. Even like uh, IFB Holder. Well, oh, there's very similar games that are out there. Uh, one's called like a Ravenloft version of a game, and I found I I found the actual hex values. For character classification, so that you can have a really rare or, or a strange character class and a different um, uh, race, so that you could be instead of just um, uh, what's that, a, a gnome for a cleric thief, you could be an elf or a half elf, cleric thief mage, and that's not a normal class, you know, normal class in the game. And I, I find that interesting, so that's something to look out for.
Bahamas. I didn't even have to call Bahamas. That's cool. I missed owning a uh, Super Nintendo. Now I can put my FC twin away. Put it up in the cupboard, right up on the shelf. I believe this is my my original version of the Final Fantasy II, meaning I, I've had it and kept it all these many years. I like that there was a way to duplicate your items up to uh, nine, you know, ninety nine each. Well, in combat. Don't forget to share, like, and emulate. We've all seen the ending to this game plenty of times. How about I, uh, let's try that, that, uh, duplication of items real quick. Actually, I'm going to close this session out, and then I'll go ahead and try a new one. Wow, it's like focus. Come on. There you go. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm going to close the session out, um, and I will be back in a few seconds. Everybody, I'm back. Yeah, these other profiles are just terrible, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick this one again. It's like, focus, camera. And it's going to exit out of here. Let's see how this for exit. I think warp works, right? I'd rather use exit, though.
just going to get to a more manageable area. To see how that worked. So I'm make sure everybody knows how that works. You duplicate your items. Yep, that's all I wanted to show. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay healthy, be safe, happy game.